Johnny Greaves back here at the big house in Crandon, one of his favorite places. Johnny, everyone's been asking you all day, how are you feeling? So I'm going to ask you the same. You're getting around, but how's it feel? Um, you know, I'm not going to lie. It's stiff, and I can tell you which ribs are cracked. But um, like I said, I, I woke up Monday feeling 80% better than I did, you know, the Saturday and Sunday before that. I don't know why. And uh, went to work and got in a full day there. And, you know, I'm careful with obviously the right side of my body, but uh, I, my mobility is really good and um, the pain isn't isn't as bad as I've had it in the past. So <laughs> feel pretty good. And uh, you've, you've seen some gnarly crashes in your day and experienced them yourself. Uh, that's all part of it. But this one, it, it felt different. It felt worse, obviously, injury aside. Yeah, you know, the, the whole flipping over that K rail and then they said it was a 25 foot drop to the dirt on the on the back side of that bank turn and in the car you know hit upside down so there was nothing to absorb the shock and by then i the momentum had stopped so it was basically a, a free fall on the roof so uh yeah that i mean it may not have been the worst crash i've had in a long time but it definitely hurt more than any of the other ones just it felt like i just got shoved out of an elevator or something <laughs> Uh, that always feels good. Yeah. Uh, well, now after the fact, it, that situation, did it either reaffirm or change any feelings you had about how your truck particularly is built for safety or even track safety? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, this is a brand new truck. You know, me and Brad built this in-house 100 percent and uh, we build it with me in mind. You know, I'm I'm a little bit I, I, I hang it out there once in a while. So uh, a little bit risky. So um, I had I had no doubt that the truck was going to do its job and you know obviously i got transported after that so i didn't know what it looked like and they said they drove it back put an a-arm on it and raced it all weekend um so uh we did a great job brad did an amazing job on all the welds no cracks or anything and the safety crew you know they were there right away and helped me out and got me to the hospital and got me on that helicopter ride <laughs> haven't had one of those in a while well, like you said, they went out and raced this truck, and it looks sporty out there with your nephew. Are you at all surprised to see him get up to speed as quickly as he did? I know you were, you and CJ were kind of coaching him through it. Yeah, it was crazy. I mean, Kyle has never been in a full-size truck of any sort, not a two-wheel drive, not a four-wheel drive. And, uh, you know, I, I'm sure he was a little overwhelmed when he had to just go out there blind. But, uh, man, he, he played it smart, did the right thing. You know, it was just real cool and let everybody – picked themselves out and drove around and got the feel for it, picked up the pace the next day a little more. And then, um, you know, we, we took the truck back, did a full prep, brought him back here, and I said, let's get some laps in Crandon. And by the time we left here, he's like, all right, I'm excited to drive it now. And uh, he, he showed it already today. He's running right with CJ, so it's pretty cool. Well, I know your entire family and your race team, you guys are such a tight-knit group and, of course, a well-oiled machine. How proud are you of CJ and the entire team for stepping up and showing leadership, but also keeping that positive attitude while you were going through it in Anago? Oh, yeah. I mean, this team is, they're the bomb, you know. I, I sat in the hospital, and I, I'm on the phone. I'm watching the live stream, and I'm on the phone saying, all right, stiffen up the rear shocks or do this. And they're like, just, just sit back. We got this. Just watch. And. They did everything right. Um, you know, CJ uh, elevated his role in the team. You know, it, it's, I, I wouldn't say it's a blessing in disguise, but it wasn't a bad thing. You know what I mean? Everybody proved that they can step up when they need to. So uh, super proud of the whole team. Well, we are proud to have you back here and see you in good spirits and in good shape. <laughs> Johnny Greaves here at Crandon.